So when we've been discussing cap M, we've seen these two equations posted before, right? And is there a difference between them? Sort of, right? But not really, right? They're saying the exact same thing. The only difference, right, is in the part that is attached to beta, right? Which is the return on the market minus the risk-free rate, and then we see risk premium on the market. The fact of the matter is that they look different, but they are saying the exact same thing. Because when we talk about a risk premium, we're talking about an equity risk premium, the amount that has to be recorded above the risk-free rate. And so essentially here is that we have the return on the market minus the return on the risk-free rate, okay? Now, the reason we have to make this adjustment off of beta is because we already start off with a risk-free rate on the front end, and we have to subtract it off, otherwise it'll get double counted. That's why we do that in the cap M equation. Okay, so we say the risk premium on the market is the difference from the risk-free rate and the return that we were actually gaining on the market, okay? Now, this means when we see this and we're reading about things is that we might not actually come up with the right numbers because we are, we are misinterpreting them, okay? So one of the things, if we see something written down and we're talking about the risk premium, okay, that is going to be the risk premium on the market. We just put that in. Okay, one of the things I commonly see with students is that we take, we get, or given risk, the risk premium, and then we subtract off the risk free rate, which is going to give us a very, very different number. Alternatively, we might see something and we might go the opposite direction with it. Okay, so it's really, really important that we differentiate between the risk premium on the market and the return on the market. If we see what the return on the market is, if we say that the S&P 500 is generating returns of 11%, we have to take off of that, we have to subtract off the return on the risk-free rate because we can't be count, double counting that in there, okay? So it's just, I can't emphasize it enough, make sure that you are taking in the right information and making the appropriate adjustment to it, okay?